Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Shantae, Half Genie Hero. Last time we left off, we had completed the Friends to the End DLC. That is all three story-based modes from here on out. Everything else is bonus content. The only two I'm not going to be showing off today are Hero Mode, which pretty much gives you all your transformations right at the beginning of the game, which is great for speedrunners, and Hardcore Mode, if you want an extra challenge. I think Friends to the End is challenging enough for me, thanks. Plus, I've seen the horror of uh, some Call Me Johnny stream about it. No, today we're going to be showing off the bonus modes, Ninja Mode, Beach Mode, Officer Mode, and Jammies Mode. I have played all of them, and as you can probably guess, the only one I've beaten is Officer Mode. But uh, I'm not going to be beating any of these, I'm just going to be showing them off. So, I guess you could say a video game showcase in the bonus DLC. <laughs> so let's start off with Ninja Mode. I'll just start up a new game here, so it gives us an understanding of what we're doing here. That... Oh, yeah. My ninja costume arrived today! So snug, if it's just like a dream! So I can see what it's like to save the day as a ninja. There's just one teeny problem. I don't know what a ninja even is! Oh right, the costume came with a scroll. Now where'd I put it? Um, Here it is. Let's see. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Whoa! To become a ninja warrior, one must na master the ninja arts. Stealth. Speed. Strength. A ninja employs these skills to slay the enemy. Well, Sequinland does have a lot of bad guys and monsters lately. I should slay them right away. Not gonna lie, when I first saw this, my first thought was Ninja Gaiden. And... Enemy sighted! Here we go! But first, I'll check the scroll. Let's see. Oh man, so many words! Kinda wish I could've just skipped this, but here we go! Ninja Technique 1, Wall Jump. Jump against a wall to stick to it. Press B to jump away from the wall. Okay, then it says... Ninja Technique number 2, Teleport! Press X while holding in any direction and disappear and reappear elsewhere. Cool. Next up, Ninja Technique number 3, Backdash. Press L to dodge out of harm's way. Interesting. Ooh, look at this! Ninja Technique number 4, Ninja Stars! Ah, stars are so pretty. Spend your ninja magic to launch a deadly blade and pierce the unsuspecting foe. That's gross. And finally, last one, let's see. Ninja technique number five, level up. Collect gems to increase your level and abilities. Raise your level too quickly. Slice your foes into wet, quivering ribbons. That is the way of the ninja. Whoa, this sounds awesome. <laughs> I think I'm ready. Ninja time. That's right, the level up system is included with this one too. And I just jumped out of that. Ready. Okay, but yeah, we do move fast. This is normal. And she does use a sword instead of her hair. Uh, that's a kunai, not a shuriken. up. Tarts. Uh, again. Frank, I wish I could figure out what the hell is interfering with the signal of my right Joy-Cons. They all run on the same goddamn frequency. Yes, I am not afraid to say that anymore. Thank you. I'm on the wall jump. Clean the wall without wanting to. There. Oh, the dream squids are here too. Good to know. Anyways, so far so good. It definitely gives you a lot of magic because they really want you to use those kunai. 
I want you to do a lot of things, but if you like something fast-paced that has a proper level-up system, I'd say, uh, definitely play this. It's actually a blast to run through. As I purposely jump into fire. Another dream squid. This is simple to get. And you can just choose to ignore the enemies with this playstyle, so if you just want to speedrun, this is definitely the one to do it. And I think that's the intention, is they literally just want you to be stealthy. Be a ninja. Oh wow, they actually did level up in the shuriken. I didn't notice that. So the level up is at least for your magic meter. Nah. Still, not bad. I like how it's going. <laughs> Even the, the ah! I didn't want to stick to that, but okay. How did that work? Finger bats are now jumping out of barrels, are they? They're trying to be sneaky ninjas of themselves. Ow. Well, it sort of worked. Nope. I'm not gonna worry too much, I just kinda wanna breeze through the level and see actually how fast you can do this. And because we can wall jump... I'm almost at the next level up. Jerk. That teleport is definitely a godsend. And now we've actually got nice sparkly shoot again. Huh, not bad so far. This is it! I can sense that my foe is near. But before I engage in battle, I better check the scroll first. Well, let me see here. A true ninja is a master of disguise. Gotcha. I shall conceal my true identity. <laughs> What's this? Someone dares to stand in my way? And wearing pajamas, no less. These aren't pajamas. It's my ninja costume. It's really me, Shantae, in disguise! Who? I must admit, that name does sound somewhat familiar. What? How could you not know my name after all this time? We're bitter enemies! Well, except for that one time when we got work together and then you sort of forgot all about it. Please. You think I'd limit myself to being one person's rival? Ridiculous. I have enemies all over the world. I looted and pillaged three towns just this morning. Personal rival, indeed. But if it's a battle you want, I can certainly accommodate you. Men? Blast this twerp to smithereens! No way! It's ninja time! Boss fights are pretty much handled the same way. Take her slug, your personal rival! Yeah, nah, the ninja blade's definitely gonna be the better option. I ran off screen. Thank you! I got hit by a tanker bat. It's inching closer. Come on, Tinker Slug, go down. There we go. I beat you. Feel the wrath of the ninja. Ugh. Now see what you've done. My ship has run off again. I'll let you off easy this time, but I'm warning you. Stay out of my way.
Victory has been achieved. My enemy has been slain. And best of all, I've become the master of disguise. Once I'm one step closer to becoming a true ninja master. Sure you are, Shantae. <laughs> but that's pretty much ninja mode and how it's gonna go. So, if you weren't too keen on Friends of the End, ninja mode might be more your liking. I'm not gonna bother reading this, because we're not gonna show off much of it now. We're moving on to the next bonus game. Let's go. So, quit. Yes. Shantae, half genie hero. Boot this up. And now, let's show off beach mode. Regrettably, this is my least favorite one, because it relies on a damage timer. Beach mode! Uh, we'll go with this swimsuit, why not? As you can see, I have tried the game. I'm not a fan of it. Time to hit the beach! This is it! The perfect beach day! Got my swimsuit, got my towel. What am I forgetting? Nothing! Yes, you are. Gotta beat those crowds. Bye bye, lighthouse. Sun's out, bun's out. Shantae, you literally live on your own little island. And off she goes. I think your main weapon is the beach balls they previewed earlier. I'll make straight for the beach. But first, I better brush up on my summer safety tips, just in case. Got them right in, written right here, let's see. Gosh, this is long. Kinda wish there was a way to skip this. Anywho, safety tip number one, beach ball. Not a flotation device, but very effective for long range attacks. Press A to punk monsters with a beach ball toss. Next, personal bubble. There's plenty of room for everyone. But when there isn't, press X to float away in your own personal bubble. Be careful not to let your personal bubble bump into emo emotional walls, or real ones. And last one says... Safety tip number three. Sunscreen! Oh, oh shoot. I forgot my tanning butter. There's nothing more important than sunscreen. Apply copious amounts all over your bod. Don't miss a single inch. You could even get a friend or two to help you out. Maybe even draw fan art of the whole scene! I mean, why not? <laughs> Send a copy to Sequinland Safety, Post Office Box number 8, Care of Squid- I- uh, I should have known it would have been Squid Baron. Ugh. Moving on. Keep a close eye on your sunburnometer. When it starts flashing, you better find more sunscreen quickly. Catching sunburn will drain your health rapidly. Then it's game over for you. Be sure to reapply sunscreen non-stop throughout your day. Remember these safety tips and make your sun time fun time. Oh gosh, who knew going to the beach would be so dangerous? Let's go. Well, off I go. Now, I have no guarantee I'll even make it to the boss in this mode. So if I get a game over, I'm gonna call it quits on this mode. Alright, so Son of Burnometer is down at the bottom. Sounds good right here. Not gonna hesitate too much. Shantae's color will actually change as well, so don't be afraid to do that too. Watch that too. And a good way to cool off. Just hop in the water. Holy crap, she's fast in the water. Too much. Oh, I walked from the sunscreen. Good. And the bubble. Oops. Any more sunscreen somewhere? More dream squids. Thank you. Get off of me. There we go. Like I said, not gonna worry too much. So far, so good. I'll take that, thank you. Green squid. Let's 
So yeah, another one of the type of level up style areas. Just this time with a damage timer. There we go. Um, oh, I have to hit this. Up and over or something. Thank you. And into the water, thank you. That's how those beach balls work. I should, probably should have shot them a little sooner. Thank you. Another dream squid, but I'm not going to worry about it. Hey, okay. I made it to the next area at least. Remains tree still on fire. Thank you. I'll take that. Sunscreen. And just use the bubble, why not? Keep an eye out for sunscreen. There we go. Why not? Go this way. Ow. Like I said, I'm not gonna worry too much. Kinda just make my way through. Probably another one that's really dependent on speedrunning. The uh, ninja one, not too much, but this one I'd say more evident because of the uh, timer. Oh, well, we made it to the boss! <coughs> hey, this looks like a good spot. I'll just spread my out my towel and... Huh? huh? What's that sound? This is it. The perfect place to work on my tan. I heard that. I have sensitive skin, I'll have you know. Basement dweller indeed. Who taught you to say such things? Oh? Someone's arrived before me. Hi, friend. Ugh, just look at her. The nerve! She's hogging the best rays for herself. Men? Ready the ice bucket. Prepare to dump on my command. Refilling the trays was your job. Never mind. Just pack the AFT cannons and blast this beach bum to pulpy pieces. Holy crap. Blubbery beach bully. Okay, it's out. Sunscreen from that. Like I said, if I game over, I game over. I'm not gonna worry. Can I thank you? Ow! Man, she's got a clean shot. Duh, why'd I do that? Come on! Thank you! There I go. <laughs> See, putting me on a timer really gets my anxiety going, so I was guaranteed to win or lose that fight regardless of what happened. But that's pretty much the gist of beef mode. If you like a, an arcade mode that gives you a timer, go right ahead. Me, not so much. Shantae, half genie hero. Next one, my favorite. Officer mode! I've 100 percent at this. If you've played Mighty Switch Force, you know how this works. <laughs> hey! Alert! Alert! Uh-oh! It's an urgent message from the Galactic Panel Squad! <laughs> Come in, Officer Shante. <coughs> Shante here, I read you! Space hooligans have escaped custody. They're wreaking havoc all over Sequinland. We need you to locate and apprehend every last one of them. You are hereby authorized to jump and shoot pellets. I'm on the case. Officer out. Gosh, this is perfect. With my new space officer outfit, I'll be able to bring more evildoers to justice than ever before. Let's go! I'd better get going. The citizens of Sequinland need me. Uh, 
Nope, don't need to save. I'll have those space hooligans clapped in irons before you can say weird crossover. <laughs> but first, I better debrief myself. Got my protocol heady book right here. Let's see what it has to say. Gosh, this is kind of long. I wish there was a way to just skip past off. Ah, I bit my tongue. <laughs> I got myself excited. <laughs> no matter. It reads, Rule 1, know your battle frame. Battle frame is another name for your cybernetic bod. Warning, it's not a toy. Your cybernetic body is very powerful. However, your body does have some limitations. For example, your body cannot duck, crawl, or dance. It's nature. Get used to it. Huh, I guess that means only running and jumping for me. Next. Know your pellet shooter. Fire pellets by pressing Y. Like any firearm, you can power it up by collecting brightly colored gems. Don't get hit or you'll risk dropping gems. Sounds cool. Next up, know your siren helmet. The siren helmet is the ultimate in peacekeeping equipment. By pressing A, you'll reverse the position of every switch block in the vicinity. Use this ability to navigate your environment and solve puzzles. And finally, it says, no one gets left behind. That said, it's okay to leave everyone behind. Your primary mission is to clear the stage. Once you've secured an area, you can go back to apprehend any space hooligans you've missed. Gosh, I can't wait to nab my first scumbag. Yay, off I go! And expect a lot of Mighty Switch Force music. I really enjoy the series, which is why I got Academy from Limited Run, but this is so good. Right, it is only this specific button. I love the way they handle that, it's so good. Actually, is it? No, it's not. Okay, good. I I don't really have much to say. If you've played Mighty Switch Force again, what is causing the signal issue? As I was saying before my Joy-Con decided to lose the signal again. This plays exactly like Mighty Switch Force. There's not really much else to say. So if you played those games, you know how to play this one. I'll at least play this owl right. You can't duck. However, I can squish. The level of system's a nice touch, too. I don't really need it, but it's handy. Ow. And at least everyone's at a level you can attack at. I love seeing all of the Shantae characters dressed up as space hooligans, too. Come back, a little starfish. I want you to go squish. Gee. <laughs> I thought I squished myself for a moment. I squished an enemy. Like that. Oh, this is so fun. Didn't expect that. Is that Twitch? <laughs> See, all the girls dressed up is great. I absolutely love this mode. So I know it well. Okay. <coughs> There's vinegar. That's just what I'm gonna assume is the short one's twitch, the tall one's vinegar. Look at that. Look at the design! Oh, it's so great. But yeah, that is the gist of it. Bosses are uh, handled the same way they are in um, Mighty Switch Force as well, I think. And it can go pretty quick if you've maxed out your pellet shooter. So yeah, that's the best way to put this one. Can't really say much else. 
Now we got the max. <laughs> Justice served. I love it. Apparently we can bring it up one more level. I don't think I've ever gotten the max level, to be honest. It took the effort to collect all those gems. Oh, dude. Rockin'. Oh, that's great. So much excitement now. Thank you. And head down this way. So let's see how the boss is handled, shall we? Come in, HQ. I'm right at the suspicious looking area. There could be one. There could be space hooligans nearby. Watch your back, officer. I'm tracking a bogey. Oh. Ew, gross! <laughs> it's coming in fast and at sea level. I'll handle it. Hi, Risky. Stop that tinker slug! You there, pull over! Oh, great. What seems to be the problem, officer? Name and identification, please. Queen Me? Seven seas. Don't you know who I am? Age, weight, eye color. Not telling, not telling, intermediate. Do you have a permit for that giant slug contraption? I'm going to need to see both a vehicle registration and pet license. So? Ugh. One moment, officer. I have the paperwork. Tucked right in... Oh my gosh, what is that over there? What? Where? <laughs> oh, license payment overdue. I forgot about this. Believe it or not, um... I took a picture. Whoops. <laughs> That's how easy that boss fight can go, I guess. But uh, the blocks are your biggest protector. They're your shield. Now then, it's pretty apparent that you're no space hooligan. So this time I'll let you off with a warning. But next time, cooperate right away and save us all a big hassle. Can you do that? Thank you, officer. It won't happen again. <laughs> Headquarters, this is Officer Shante reporting in. The area is secured. Roger that. Prepare to evacuate. <laughs> uh, this one is definitely my most favorite. <coughs> Very nice. Alright, so that just leaves us one more mode to show off. And hopefully not bite my tongue again. <laughs> Let's get that. Ah, love you love. This is a good song. Anyways, enough of that. Time to show off Jammy's mode! Shantae, Hero. Okay, start. Jammy's mode. Prepare for the ultimate pillow fight. To go. I have never tried this one, so this is just as new to me as it is to you guys. I just had the coolest idea! It's the perfect way to thank everyone who helped me get through the, my recent adventures! Not just Uncle, or Sky, and Bolo, and Roddy Tops, but everyone! Yeah. I'm gonna host the ultimate slumber party! And everyone's invited! We'll have pillow fights, and snacks, and stories! This is gonna be so cool! I better spread the word fast! Uh, Shantae, you forgot to get dressed. I'm going to give everyone I know an invitation to my ultimate slumber party. I won't leave anyone out. But first, I better read on the tag on the back of these pajamas. Hmm. Gosh, this is long. Kinda wish there was a way to skip this. Anywho. Garment care number one. Delicate fabric. These comfortable, fan-pleasing pajamas are made from the, a fine silk and cotton weave. Wash your delicates in cold water only. They offer very little resistance to enemy attacks. Avoid all monsters. Gosh, sounds like I'll have a uh, hardly any defense while wearing up my jam jams. So is it just magic mode? Oh, 
Next! Dream Cloud. The inner linings of this garment is filled with a soft, pillowy, or downy layer to promote a healthy, deep sleep. Press X to float away on a cloud of total relaxation. Sounds cool! Next up! Wooly Manifestation. This garment contains 5% wool content. Sheared from happy farm-raised sheep. Our sheep ble led rich, uh, fulfilling lives. Heartfelt blessings and whispered into their ears, keeping them overjoyed at all times. Nevertheless, please use caution if you suffer from wool allergies. Lucid wool-induced REM sleep can cause physical woolly sheep manifestations to enter the real world. Fire bouncing sheep at your foes by pressing A. Gosh, these pajamas are hardcore. Oh, off I go. As I have a cat scratching at the door who needs to stop. All right, so the main attack is a pillow. Give me a sec, he's scratching even harder. Okay, let's, let's do this proper now. Well, I only took quarter of a heart there. Whee! That is so cute. Hmm, come to think that this, other than not having the timer, this doesn't feel very much different from um beach mode, to be honest. In turn, I think I take this over beach mode. Oh my! That is one adorable sheep. Ow, with it. Uh, I think the only difference really is just the slow pillow. That's a lot of damage, though. Holy. Still, the clouds is definitely the, uh, I'd say, the most broken part. Yeah, that's that's one powerful pillow. <coughs> I need to actually get a drink here soon. Washing cold water only, so we can at least lend the water. Uh, I was about to say that's a little broken. So what does the sheep do at level two? Still bounces. Interesting mode, to say the least. Let's see how long it actually lasts for. Not a bad length. I'd say roughly five seconds. <laughs> Act. Walk right into that. Not too much to say here, to be honest. It's it's literally just beach mode, but without the timer. Yeah, it's just beach mode without the timer. Well, let's see what the boss dialogue. This is the place. Risky boots. Really. First person to invite my invite list is Risky Boots. She should arrive any time now. In fact, I think this is her. <laughs> Ooh, I just saw some slowdown there. Snap two, men. We're going to blast this town to smithereens. Not so fast, Risky Boots. Hmm? Oh great, it's the brat. Step aside, or I'll... Wait! Hold on, you've got it all wrong! I just want to invite you to my ultimate slumber party! Oh! An invitation? For me? Uh. Don't be absurd. Here, let me see that. Oh. <laughs> you think I'd fall for such an obvious trap? Men? Blast this infuriating imp into the ocean! Risky. I don't blame her for thinking that way. Tw 
12 damage with the pillow. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Next. And there goes the Tinker Slug for the final time. You know, I might actually just save this one. I kind of want to see how this story goes on my own personal time. Ugh, how dare you interfere! I already told you! I just want to invite you to my party! Won't you come, please? I don't know what this is about, but I won't be made a fool of. Rats. Oh well, maybe she'll change her mind later. I've still got lots of invites to hand out. Next on my list, Techno Baron! Oh, it is nice of you, Shantae, to give the bad guys a chance to enjoy something. Oh, that is a cute victory animation! Ah, look at it! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to do this one on my own personal time. It looks like fun. So yeah, I'm gonna save. Like I said, save it for another time, though. This is only meant to showcase all the modes. But, Jammy's mode is the last one to show off. So there you go. That is everything in Shantae Half Genie Hero. Ultimate Edition includes all of the DLC, so if you do intend on getting this game, definitely take a look for the Ultimate Edition. I know it's not too common anymore, but at least the digital download's still available if you can't find it physically. I'm just a hardcore physical collector, so I always recommend that first. But that completes it. So I hope you guys really enjoyed watching all of Shantae Half Genie Hero. This is Autumn Child saying I'll see you all next time with my next Let's Play. Later, everyone.